Hey, what up, Decisive Marketer? So in this second video, I'm going to be showing you how I automate my YouTube videos, right? So the, the one that you're seeing right now is going to be automatically automated and posted into the right Oogie space that I have, right? So, uh, and I'm actually going to create a very complex workflow, but I'm not, I'm just going to briefly go through um, the entire workflow. It's a complex one, but I'm just mainly going to be focusing on the Oogie part and how to do it. Okay, so it's a very exciting one, um, but before I dive into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So let's jump back into Pebbly Connect right here. Okay, so this is Pebbly Connect and I'm going to jump into this particular workflow right here, which is a really uh, interesting one right here. Okay, so, uh, so the workflow is going to be like this. I have YouTube, right? Um, jumping into Google Sheets, into a text formatter, um, you know, um, and then into another text formatter, right? And then um, into a filter and into a uh, into Discord right here and then into Reddit, into LinkedIn and then into Uki Live right here. So it's a complex workflow. So we've got, let me just repeat again, right? So it's YouTube uh, into Google Sheets to pull out all my Uki Live uh, spaces. And then uh, I'm going to be using the text formatter to clean up a little bit of my video descriptions, right? Clean up a little bit my video descriptions right here then um, I'm going to do a filter right here. So what happens is that the post does not go out um, if there is um, no thumbnail being set in my YouTube video. And then uh, I will do a announcement, automatically uh, announce it into one of my Discord channel, then to post it into one of my subreddits into LinkedIn, uh, right on my LinkedIn profile, and then uh, do a router uh, into my Uki space itself, right? So that's the entire workflow. So uh, this is very simple. It's YouTube, right? So you just need to choose YouTube, connect it, sign into your Google account, right, and choose the channel that you are using right and then uh, you will receive a response right here so this is my latest video uh, which is on quick blog right so these are the labels that i'm getting right and the values that i'm getting okay next is i connected to my google sheets to pull out the same uh, spreadsheet that you see in my previous video all right where it contains all my wiki spaces so if you i'm not sure how to connect with google sheets uh, be sure to watch the previous video Okay, next I have a text formatter, right? So uh, so this is the title right here. And um, I don't want to, uh, I don't, I just want the word quick block, right? Um, I, sorry, I just want the word uh, quick block. Um, uh, yeah, so I just want uh, the word uh, quick block right here okay and then uh um actually this this is is not important um, it's just that i want to shorten the title itself okay right so next step is then to um so this is actually from my description right here so uh it says uh you know get quick block right here and then visit my website so what happens is that i just want to have this line right here Okay, that means I just want the first line, right? So get quick block here da uh, dash uh, my my link right here, right? So this is the this this is all I want, right? So what happens is um, I'm going to show you how to do this. is is really simple, right? So you just choose text formatter and then the uh, action is split text. Then you will choose, right? Uh, let me just pull this down a little bit, right? Okay, you will select the snippet description right here 
Okay. Um, if you this is of course you 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 know you want to kind of format your um description in your YouTube, right? Then you use the uh, text formatter, right? Otherwise, if you just want to keep the entire um chunk of text in your description, then you can do so as well. Um, uh, because YouTube only pulls in the uh, snippet description, so it doesn't pull in the entire description right so it's just only the snippet that's uh so what happens is that you're gonna end with the post with dot 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 right here which is not really nice that's why you know i just have this line right here okay so uh and then your segment index so where, where do you um segment the where do you separate the text right so you just choose first um depending how you want to uh split the text that's all okay so that's the text formatter. Then um, next step is uh, I have a filter right here where if the thumbnail doesn't exist, then uh, it's not going to continue. That's all. Okay. Next is uh, API. So this goes goes into my Discord. I'm I'm not going to show this uh, to you because it's going to be very complex, right? Uh, so I'll probably maybe do this in a separate video, right? So but this is uh this is actually to make a post right it will say a uh, new video uh is, is going to go into my discord channel where it says my latest uh youtube video right here okay so this is my con uh you know so this will announce it into my uh channel and then uh it will say new video and then the snippet title uh, that means the the YouTube video title and then the video uh, URL uh, right in here, right in my Discord, just like that. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna post it into Reddit, right, and then to LinkedIn, and then lastly into uh, Uki, which is uh, this step will then of course be very very similar to the previous one where i pretty much just route uh with the <coughs> the val uh you know the value right so you can watch the previous video on how to do this right so we have uki and then add post and then the title content space name and the url for the youtube video right so as of now uh, uki only supports the youtube url for embedding right so uh, i'm going to just show you what happens right so i have this uh quick blog video which is which is actually already posted um but i'm going to repost it again and then of course i'm going to delete that after okay so my internet is a little bit slow today okay just give it a second okay so this is the post right here which is uh, posted two days ago so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to send this again and if I refresh there will be another post that just came in okay so it says success and then if I refresh the space again you will see the new post right which is posted 18 seconds ago right here and of course the um, it's totally uh, incorrect because um, it's not updated correctly right so the the caption is not correct right here right so i'm going to delete that okay so but pretty much that's how to do this right so um there are many ways that you can uh play with this uh the most the, the important one is actually the routing step so that you can have it posted in the right channel uh so just like my previous uh video which is from rada you can also make let's say you want to make a post from uh facebook or 
you know Instagram or whichever you can do so as well right so um, you just need to change your trigger to Facebook right so we have uh, you know like if you post it into a Facebook page and you want to repost it into uh, Uki you can do so as well right so Facebook page new post okay and so you have a new post and from that new post you might want to filter a little bit and then uh, post it into uh, Wookie Live and of course if you want to you can post it into multiple different social media channels as well uh, so this is face uh, this is Facebook you can do so with Instagram as well so uh, let's say you use Instagram and maybe you make a post in Instagram you want to have it posted into Uki you can do so as well right because uh, whenever there is a new media posted in your account you can just repost it into Pebbly Connect itself so this um, helps you to integrate Uki live into your social media um, uh, um, well, you know social media strategy itself right uh, the entire social media um, strategy itself and uh, I guess you know it's going to help you to save a lot of time when you want to have certain content that is posted up and automatically posted into Uki live itself uh, so you can even have for example a new WordPress post that goes up and have it posted into uh, your Uki live space itself so I guess that's all I have to share in this video if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up uh, let me know if this video has helped you and if you know anyone who you know uses Uki live be sure to share this video with them and I'll see you in my next video